Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 16 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos linked in the description below. And if you're a returning viewer, as always, like and comment, let me know how I'm doing, and subscribe for more videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into episode 16. We are just taking a look at the Spennymore to Morcam uh, rail line. It's running really well. Uh, it's got full capacity on all the trains, but there is actually a little problem that I uh, want to address. And that is that these rail stops have completely outpaced the ability for this train to cover it. Um, this train right now is just an old general with four of these basic passenger cars. It's got 56 capacity. It's not bad. It's, it's running great. Um, but you can see we've got 189 people at Spennymore wanting to head up towards Morecam. 151 um, at Margate. And then 21, you know, not bad. But I think we can get away with putting a much higher capacity, uh, more powerful train on here. So I think that's what we're going to start out with. I'm going to replace this. Um, we'll probably go... I really want to go with an Atlantic um, and maybe four of these passenger cars, these uh, higher capacity. So now that train has, if we come here and find it, I think it's going to have 80 capacity. Yeah, it does. And I just think that that's a, you know, first off, it's a much better looking train and I think it will run a lot better. Um, you know, it's not going to wipe out these capacities by any means, but you know, it doesn't need the massive capacity coming back the other way. It looks like the flow of passengers is they want to go, you know, I guess, I don't know, what do, what do we say? that Like, this is north, so they want to kind of go east, south, or southwest, something like that. I don't know. You get what I'm saying. Um, so I'm really happy that we got that replaced. I think that that will run a lot better. Now, another line that I wanted to take a look at is this Redford to Verwood line. Monster capacity. Monster numbers on this uh, on this line. 407 here. 194 up here. And then 205 wanting to go down here. And I'm just curious why this train has stopped right here. Oh, it's because this whole thing is a block. Forgot about that. Anyway. So this train right here. We need to figure out what we want to do with this. Because this, these capacities, these passenger numbers are just monster. Um, so I think for now... We'll come in here and we'll edit this and we'll just go ahead and add like two more cars onto there and we'll see if this train, see it's got poor performance right now. So four cars is kind of the best it can do. I don't think that we can go electric. And the 10 wheeler right now is our best for tractive effort that we have. I don't know. We'll have to take a look at it at some point. We might want to make this line electric. I just don't know if the... How is it doing financially? What is it bringing in? So it's bringing in... 2 million every couple of years. Um, but the running cost on the electric train... So like this train right here, this 10-wheeler... This is the issue that I have with going electric. The 10 wheelers running cost is 339,000 a year. This uh, MILW, it's running cost of 2 million a year. And I just don't think that we can feasibly make that with passengers right now. Um, if you guys have some thoughts, definitely leave them in the comments. I, I would love to know kind of what you guys are thinking. Um, but for now, I just don't think that we can manage the passenger numbers that it is demanding. Now, one train that we could improve is this train running 
um, up to Dudley, because we've got 445 people waiting here to take this train. So if we come in here and we go to this Dudley Coinsboro route, um, we've got moguls on it right now, and they're running pretty well, but I think I'm going to come in here and probably replace them again, probably with a 10-wheeler, and maybe up that capacity to like 80. I think that that will work really well. We might even be able to get away with a bit more than 80. Truthfully, because there's four, there's 450 that want to go up there. So why don't we give it one more car? And I'd be interested, so this is this is saying that this is poor right now. If I put an Atlantic on there, yeah, it's actually saying that that's going to perform better. So why don't we go with that? And then similarly. We'll put an Atlantic on here as well. And hopefully that will do a little bit better. But I think this is going to be really good. It's going to help this clear a lot better than it is currently. And then similarly on this train line, do these have 10 wheelers or Atlantics? They have 10 wheelers. So I think we'll switch those out for Atlantics, just to improve that performance a little bit. Okay, great. So now that that's working, I want to come down here and continue what we were working on last time. So we have this silver train, it's delivering silver up here, but this isn't making anything because it's not, I mean, it's making us money, but it's not actually making any product because this has nowhere to deliver the silver bars and i think that we're gonna probably use a rail and kind of just try and come right down here and i was actually thinking of doubling up this station to also handle um cargo and then we'll just truck it over to this factory over here to uh start to produce um machines so in order to do that and we're also going to have a steel delivery coming in here so we need to keep that in mind so in order to do that i'm going to come in here and i'm going to edit this station and i'm going to delete a lot of it including some of the track that i didn't mean to delete but that's okay and I'm going to have to delete out one more piece just so that I have enough space to do this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a another track, a cargo platform, in the center. And then another pair of tracks. And then we're going to put our passenger platforms along the outside. Quick auto save. We'll get rid of that. And now we have this. And I would love to actually increase the size of the station. But to do that, I think we're going to have to move this road. So let me see if I can do that easily enough. So if I come into here and I delete this out. I'm just trying to think how I want this to work. So if I put that there and then maybe a... If I put a couple of these smaller ones on the other side, and then we're going to need a cargo building here, right at the front. going to rework this road layout. It's probably way more in depth than I need to go, but we're doing it. So, so let's see if I put a road in like that. And 
And then we put a road in right here. Carry this road out. Put a road in right here. And then we're going to need a cargo station. So let's see, if I put that in right here, and delete that out, and we put our entrance in right there. And then I'll probably put in a couple of cargo buildings to buffer that a little bit. Because this is actually going to need a pair of stops. One for the steel. And one for the... Uh, one for the steel and one for the silver. We just need to connect these all back together. Just destroyed a massive part of the of the area, but that's okay. We'll connect that in, and then we're going to put our bus stop in right here. And now if we come back in here, don't go to green lane. So after the drive... Yeah, so that's going to be our stop. And now we're going to need to reconnect this bridge. So if I just back this out a little bit, and this is gonna connect right here on the outside. Right like that. We'll come through here really quick and we'll redecorate this, so we'll just, uh, Add in a little bit of the ballast right here. And then we need to come in here and make sure that these are not electric tracks. Because we don't need them, they're running steam trains. And now by doing that, what this is allowed... And now that I actually look at this, I, I don't like this little side thing, so I'm going to get rid of it. We'll add in some decorations onto these platforms. Okay, great. And now we just need to fix these lines, and... I think sometimes the easiest way is just to add the station back in. So if we do that, if we get rid of this, and we add that station back in. And these are lo waiting for full load for 60 seconds, I think is what we had them doing. So let me just redo that. 60 seconds, perfect. Now there's an issue. So we'll just fix that. Where is this train? Yeah, perfect, okay. So now it's heading back down. I actually think this train, this Kloon I train, could probably go with an Atlantic for a bit better performance. Okay, but essentially what that is allowing us to do now is we can run our industry, our silver and eventually our steel trains in here to the center and not have to cross over this track. And now we just need to figure out how we want to deliver the silver down to this facility. So I think we'll probably branch a road off like that, connect a road in there, and then I'll switch over to dirt roads for now. And we'll go ahead and connect these in, and then we'll probably put a truck stop maybe right in here we'll buffer it a little bit and 
and then we'll go ahead and add in our road connections like that. And now this is just going to be a little route delivering silver. Probably make it like a dark gray. And that green lane, I want them to wait for a full load forever. So this is going to be a truck route and it's going to be I silver. And now we can go ahead and get a couple trucks on there. So if we go with cargo, I might go with these uh, Mac flatbeds. And maybe we'll get like four of them to just go wait up there for the silver. And obviously it's not going to show up for a while. Um, but it will work. Now the question is, how hard is it going to be to get this track down here? And there's a lot of elevation change going on. And I probably want it to come into this, this line right here. So if that's the case, if we grab this track and we bring it out here, like that, we could probably start to branch it off here. But that is a huge elevation change that we're going to need, need to deal with. So, let me see. If I grab this track first and brought it down to here, it's actually not that bad. We're getting a little clipping right here. Before we do that, though, let's come in here and add on another platform so that we're using the right... The right platform so that the silver bars does not interfere with the silver ore drop off. So now if we grab this track and we want to bring it down to like there so that we can tie in with this bridge. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a, a little placeholder for that. And then if I grab this track, yeah, and connect it in like right there. Probably back it out just a little bit. And then if we grab this, this track and connect that in here, And it doesn't like that. All right, so we'll back that out. I'll back this bridge out just a little bit more. We'll come up here, we'll grab this track. Pull it down here. Let me see now, How, are we clipping this? We are. Okay, so now we're not clipping that, which is good. Got a pretty massive cut through here that we'll have to deal with. I would almost rather that this tunnel this. I wonder if I could force it to tunnel by doing a little, kind of bringing this hill out a little bit. Like that. Yeah, so that's gonna tunnel now, which I like a lot more. We're not clipping here. We're doing a little interesting stuff right here, but that's okay. Might make this a black, black bridge. And we'll go for it. So now we have a tunnel here. Let's see if I can smooth this out, make this look a little bit more natural. Yeah. 
Yeah. So that's looking good. Okay, so now we have a tunnel onto this bridge. It's running all the way down here, and now we should be able to connect this up. And I think I'll back this all the way out. Back over to here. And then we'll connect these up. And we'll use Shift M and N just to get that height to work. That's actually really low to the water line. So I'm gonna delete this out one more time and we'll we'll take a look at this before we before we actually say that we want it. So we'll connect those up. And we'll just bring that up out of the water just a little bit. And I wonder actually if I back this out not out to there. Maybe to like right there. And now we connect these up, if that will work a little bit better. We'll just raise this up just a little bit. Yeah, okay. So I like that. Now we need to come through here and unelectrify this track. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we need to set up, oh, there's a little bit of track over here that we don't need to be electric either. So we will just come through here and now we'll set up a new line from Thaxed all the way down here. And we'll make this a dark gray color. And at the Thax stop, I want it to wait for full load for maybe 120 seconds of silver. And now this is going to be a rail line. And it's going to be from Thax down to I, silver. And now we just need to figure out how to get a train onto here. And I would love to use this siding again. But the way that I have it laid out... It's not going to work because we're going to need to get into both. We're going to need to get into both of these tracks. So let me see if I go into our terrain view here. I think I have quite enough room. So that's where it would need to go to. And then we'll merge that on. Now, why don't we put in this siding first? So if we kind of bring that back to there, we can get away with a little bit more track. So now we'll run this down, we'll connect that in. go to and then we'll merge it in we'll need a little switch right here
and then we'll probably run a siding right down here. Like that. Okay. And now we just need to do a little bit of terraforming without destroying this whole thing. Just like that. And I think that looks pretty good. But what this means now is that we can get a, if we go with a non-one-way signal, put one right there and then one right there. And we come through here and we de-electrify all of this track. Because it doesn't need to be electric yet. What this means now is that we can use this siding, and we should be able to get a train on there. So if we go with probably a 10-wheeler, and we're going to be moving silver bars, so we need these flat cars. And then we get that on the silver line. That should work. It should come out here. If we speed this up a little bit. This should come out here and just switch right onto that side. And then run over and start to pick up silver bars to bring them down there. So now, now that we have this established, and that it's going to take a while for that to uh, get, you know, a regular full load of silver. So now we have silver coming into this facility, and these trucks are already waiting here to pick up the silver. So now we need to figure out steel. And this one is going to take a while. I honestly don't even know if we're going to get it done in this episode. I want to use this steel mill right here. And I'm thinking that we're going to have to use these coals and these irons to do it. So obviously this is going to require some form of shipping. There's just no coal or iron around here that we can use. These are the nearest ones. Or I guess these are the nearest ones that aren't in use because there's coal and iron over here as well. Um, and there, there is one coal and one iron over here. I just don't know how we would actually get it over there because this is such a mess of existing routes. You know, we could ship it kind of like around the horn but I think that this will probably work. Um, and the way that I think we're going to do this is we're going to put both of these on a train. And we're probably going to put a cargo harbor in. Maybe here. We could do it here. We could bridge this up and over. And then ship them right through this straight. Let me see, is there a, uh, let me take a look at one of these ship depots here. So we're moving, so this has two compartments. And let me just see, if I go into one of these shipping lines, I just want to see how I can set the, yeah, so I can set it to load 50-50. So I guess we'll try and Let's see if we can actually, if we have enough room to get this to bridge up and over. So if I grab a track and I connect those. So we can get that high enough. That's the height that we would need for a ship to go through with that open waterway. So if we put that in and then maybe just delete a little bit of this track out to get the slope a little bit better. And then do the same thing over here.
maybe even back that out just a little bit more like that and then we'll come through and connect that in and I guess we could actually use another one-way signal here because I probably deleted it and now these routes work and now we have the ability to get a ship through there so we can let this run this train's waiting here. I assume it's because there's, yeah, there's a train in the station there. But what this means now is we can actually put our cargo harbor right here, which I think is going to be very useful. So let me see if I come through here and kind of delete out this road a ways, and then we put in a cargo harbor. right here and then I put in a large landing and now we'll need to connect this with a road so now that's that's connected and now we just need to figure out what we want to do with the how to get the coal over here because obviously the iron is just going to self-populate right onto there the coal is going to be a little bit more interesting and i would love to somehow use this bridge again I'm just trying to think of how we could do that so if i come through here and just kind of delete this road out. If I get a track. That's gonna be a really sharp turn. Let me see what the terrain is like. Yes, we, we've got plenty of space for this terrain. And now if I get a terminus station 240 meter length, put it in right there, and then we could connect it up with a road very easily like that and now that's in catchment there and now I can run this track right down here and let me see if I get it up onto here I can branch it off. So we'll branch that off just a little bit. Not sure why that speed drops so much. Keep it at 75. And now we just need to figure out how to get over here. And that should be easy enough. We'll just run it right across. We are just going to need to get a station in here. Let me see where we're going. Let's see, if I put that in right about there, we'll need to get a road in here. Now that's in catchment of that dock. And now we just need to figure out a 
Let's see if I aim that. If I aim that like that. I think this is going to go way too far to the right. I just really want this to line up. Now, if I pull this across, oh yeah, that's it's like right on the money. So we'll delete this out, and then we'll just have it curve right into there. Perfect. So now we can establish a coal delivery all the way up to here. And we'll make this a black color. And at Warminster South, I want them to wait for a full load for maybe 120 seconds. And this will be a rail line from Warminster to Dudley. Coal. And now we just need to come through here and de-electrify a lot of this stuff. Because we don't need it to be electric. Perfect. And now we just need to figure out how to use a siding. And I might be able to use this same siding. I don't know if I can get... Yeah, I, that actually... Oh, no, it's going the wrong way. Uh, um... Need to re-add this signal in right here. So this is one way. Just make sure that that's still working. It is, okay. So now, is there a way that we could use this siding? Yes, it will do that. Just need to de-electrify all that. And now we just need to get some signals here. So we need one-way signal here and here to make sure that that works. Okay, and I might as well make that a double switch. It doesn't really matter. That's all working, and now we can go ahead and get a train onto this cold delivery. So if we go with a 10-wheeler, and then we get, let's see, for coal, yeah, these gondolas. We'll go with virtually a max length train. And we'll get that on there. Um, now that I think about it, it might be better for this to be one of these Mikados. If I replace this with Mikado, yeah, that has much better performance. Now he'll just jump over onto that coal line. Didn't interfere at all with the oil delivery, which is very good. But now he'll start to go up there, and then when he comes back, there should be coal here. Oh, and there isn't, because this has no reason to deliver coal here. Because we need to establish the shipping route. And we're going to come over to here. So I need to put in a cargo harbor right here. So we'll just set up this cargo harbor real quick. So we'll need a road in right here. Let me see if I can make that connection. I can. 
It's a little steep, but it's okay. And now that's in catchment here. So now we need to establish a new line from this cargo facility at Retford, interestingly enough, even though it's... Tech, I guess that's saying that that's Retford, okay. And we'll make this uh, black because it's going to be coal and iron, so kind of just have to pick a color. And then this one is going to wait for a while before it comes over here, just because that's a really long journey. And this will be a shipping route from Retford up to Margate. And it's going to be iron and coal. And then let me just fix this because I want them to load iron and coal and I want them to load 50% of each. Just like that. Yeah. And then up here, don't load anything. So now we need to get a ship onto there. So if I go in here, I think the Schaffhausen is probably going to be our best bet um just because of the speed um these obviously both move liquid yeah so we'll get we'll get a Schaffhausen on there I'll probably get two maybe three to start and we'll put these on this line so now those ships will come out this is starting to put iron on here, and this should start to put coal. Okay, perfect. So now that's working. So now we're going to get iron and coal onto this shipping route. And I honestly might get like two more onto there. Just because this is such a long route. And so I just want to see how this works. So once this ship pulls up, he's got 130 capacity, so he should load, I think, 75, right? No, 65. Uh, 65 iron, and then he should wait for the... He should wait for the coal to be delivered before he leaves. Let's just see it. Yeah. Ooh. That did not do what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to wait for full in all compartments. I don't know why that just... Interesting. I, I always thought that full, in, full load all compartments is... Wouldn't it wait? I don't know. I guess that's okay. It is what it is. I hope this works. I want it to work. Obviously. But I just... Can this get overcrowded with iron? Probably. Is there any way to limit that? Might just give this a little extra capacity, just in case. Because I don't want this to get completely overloaded with iron and then not be able to receive any coal. So this train's coming in now. All right, we'll have to see how that works. So 
So now we have a ship coming down there, and he should load 50 50. I'm just worried that this is going to get completely overloaded with iron. And I guess that the, the way to fix that would probably be to get a second coal train on here so that there's always coal showing up. So I guess that's what we'll do. Why don't we auto signal these? We'll go 350 meters. So now we've got dual signals running all the way down there and why don't we then get another train onto there. Man, we are rocking. One and a half billion, just about. But now, let me see. Did the ship just leave? Yeah, so that's perfect. He just left with half and half, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, these are all coming back. This has iron now, but nothing else. And now we need to figure out how to get this steel, once we produce it, all the way up here to I. And I think the way that we're going to do that is I'm going to truck it across this road and then I'm going to put in a rail station right here. So I'm going to get rid of this road because it's just in our way. And now we're going to want a terminus 240 meter platform running right down the coast right here. And let me take a look at our contours to see which contour we want to be on. And I think ideally we would we would be down on the ground, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get away with that, so I might just put this in right about here. I'm going to level off a pad so that I can put in a cargo station Let's see so if this has a road running right here Connect these up. It's a little steep. It's okay, though. Now we're going to need a... Cargo platform in here. So if I send that straight up there, we should be able to get a cargo platform in... Right here. Now we'll go ahead and add these in. And this will drop off the steel at this train station. And 
now we can come back through here and just kind of smooth this out a little bit. Smooth that out a little bit, just to make that look nice. And now we'll, we're going to need a truck stop right here. And I wonder if I can actually squeeze it in right here. I can. We'll get rid of that. We'll add an entrance in here and an exit in here. Let's see, what did we get? We got uh, either a train or a tram, I'm not sure. And then we got some new trucks. Nice. So maybe we'll use those trucks right now when we establish a new line to drop that steel off up here. And we'll make that black. And at Margate Transfer, I want them to wait for a full load forever. And now this is going to be a truck route. It's all in Margate steel so now we need to get some vehicles onto there so let's see what what did we just get we got these tarpaulin trucks which just aren't competitive unfortunately the capacity is just so poor so we'll probably go with ben's trucks i might get four of them to deliver the steel. And they'll come up here and wait. And now this did get some coal. Uh, but again, this isn't going to, to, you know, produce any coal until we can get it delivered. So, with that being the case, honestly, looking at the time, this might be something that we f finish up in the next episode, because I think it's going to take us a while to uh, snake this rail line all the way through here and get it up into I. So with that being said, let's just see, are we getting, uh, are we getting silver delivered? We should be. This was our silver train. Yes, yeah, so we got a ton of silver. Perfect. All right. So with that being said, I think this uh, will be the end of the episode. We'll uh, bring it to a close. We'll go for a ride on one of our new lines that we set up. I'm really enjoying making the series, guys, and I appreciate the uh, the support. You know, like and comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, let me know if there's anything you want me to try out or do differently in future episodes. And as always, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.